G'day guys, Rod from Origin Campus here. Got a little go adventure here. Uh, we'll just have a bit of a run around and show you what's um, in it and what it's all about. So let's have a look. We'll have a look in the front box first. Um, in the front box we have a battery box. On off switch on that. We've got our charger. Got our usual bits and pieces we put in your front box uh, for storage purposes and throw a chair in there and a few other items. Good little front box, locks nicely, got good solid locks on it. Um, come up this way, got a standard front guards, uh, side guards that are aluminium check plate powder coated, same as always. Uh, we've got a trinket little windows in these ones, um, double glazed, it um, comes up to there, sits there, and it goes all the way down. Now it does have three locks on it so you can lock it in nicely or you can lock it in just a little bit uh, and that leaves about a five mil gap there so you get a little bit of airflow if it's raining um, all the way back down just there uh, we've got a vents we always run these vents um, we've got a two bar roof rack on this one which is a standard setup on this one you can put four or three Depending on what you're going to put up there, put a solar panel up there, you might want to pop another roof bar in there to bridge the gap. Um, fully insulated ceilings, always fully insulated ceilings. Come on this way and have a look. Um, now, little fold down table. Pops up there, strap holds it in. So when you do your roadside stops, um, you now you want somewhere to sit, you can come in here, sit in here, you make yourself a sandwich, somewhere where you can have a little bit of a feed uh, and of course you've got your roof, uh, your back door that opens up and uh, that creates a little bit of a roof for you, um, so you're not in the sun. Um, this is the side one, this one sits in here and pulls out, pops into there. If you want to have a look in there, you can have a look at what the interior looks like and I'll have a look through the other door. Right. Now, we've got a full length shelf, runs all the way along the top there, pop your belongings up there. Um, we've got a little corner shelf in there, you may be able to see that better from over here when you come round. Got pockets, pockets to put your uh, phones in or your magazines, books and so on. Over here we do have a USB charger and a 12 volt charger, we've got a ceiling fan with an LED light around it. Um, Vents, these are the vents up here. Got hooks for hanging your coats, hats, drink holders, one there and one there. Um, a nice little sleeping cabin, as we'd call it. So, right, come on this way and have a look. Now, um, we do do some different awnings. So this is a standard style of awning. This is 2.5 by 2 meter. So it's a pretty standard setup. Um, we can put a little filling piece through here. That helps when it's raining from that way, it stops the rain coming in. Uh, that's not on here yet, but we will do that for our customer. Um, again, the guards, the usual setup, you know about those things. Um, have a look at these front doors. Or should I say, our uh, doors. They're the split style. So the same sort of setup as what's in the caravan. Uh, they run a three lock. Set up so when it pulls in, it pulls in and locks in nice and tight. I'll show you. At the moment, it's a little loose, but that's the way it sits when it's just locked in. Pull that in, and it, like a cam lock setup, pulls that door in nice and tight. And that's also your security mesh stuff. So you've got security mesh and you've got bug screen. So, once again, you know, that's a, a neat door, very strong door. Uh, it gives you that little peace of mind if you're sleeping in there at night time um, and you, know, you want to leave the door open and let some air flow through. Um, so they just click together. Like that. In like that. And cam locks like that. Nice and tight. Um, great little door. Pretty good privacy too because that's tinted. And then you've got your fly screen, so it's actually quite hard to see in there, so you do get a bit of privacy. Um, I didn't explain about the windows on the other side, so I'll just open this up, and I'll lean in the other door and I'll show you. You want to hop in there and have a look? 
Now these guys here, the little privacy screen that slides up, or the fly screen that comes down. And now you've got a magnetic strip through here to hold them together, so you can adjust that to a height that suits you, so you get airflow and you get a bit of privacy. So they're an awesome little window. We do do bigger ones, so if you're interested in putting a 900, um, yeah, give us, a, give us a call and let us know what you think on that one. Um, we'll have a look around the front again. I'll just come around. Now, um, all train tyre on these, what's standard on these is a steel rim. So the steel rim standard, if you want to upgrade, we can look for an alloy rim, match it up with the trailer. It does make it a little lighter, but not massively. Uh, we've got our usual, uh, on this side of the trailer, we've got our usual tow ball hitch, uh, little jockey wheel. Um, like I said, it's a lightweight trailer, um, really aimed at the smaller four-wheel drives, uh, your, your SUVs and vehicles like that with a little towing capacity. Um, one to two people uh, is fine uh, in, inside this camper trailer too, by the way. Um, we can put solar panel on it if you wish. Uh, we can put a water tank in this, but we are limited to what we can put in this trailer because it is a lightweight trailer. It is unbraked, so it needs to be um, kept under that 750 kilo uh, weight when you finish putting a few things in it. So. Um, yeah, you've, you've got to sort of look at what you're going to put in there. At, uh, one area we can do things too is we can put um, uh, jerry can holders on the sides behind the guards, so um, for water containers. So we can put a jerry can here on this side or on the other side, um, so that way you've got water on a little tap um, handy when you pull up on the side of the road instead of putting a water tank underneath because there is a fair weight difference from. 20 kilos to 60 kilos, um, and you can run lithium in them. You know, if you want to put a lithium battery in here, you can. So, you know, a lithium's a lightweight battery too, so that cuts about half of the battery weight out, uh, or even more in some cases. So, something you should think about when you're looking at these trailers what sort of power you're going to run in them. Anyway, um, that's me from Origin Campus, and um, yeah, have a bit of a look online and see what you think, guys. Thanks for, look, thanks for watching.